It would be difficult not to. What? I've already taken the appropriate steps to address the situation. Believe me, things are well in hand. Well, they fucking better be. If this thing with the judge goes sideways, shit's gonna roll downhill real fucking quick. We haven't lost anything of any significance except for some men, and they can be replaced. In fact, they're the easiest thing to replace. Saul doesn't give two shits about any of those stupid fucks. All he cares about is the people that matter. Understand? I understand completely. And you have my word that all payments will continue as scheduled. None of our business associates need to concern themselves with our recent difficulties. Yeah? Okay. I'm counting on you here, Tony. Don't fuck this up. Goodbye.
take the rest of the day off. Okay, here's the thing, Congressman. When Mr. Durazio made his very generous contribution to your campaign, it was based on promises about... what I want you to do. Follow him. See if you can get me... <laughs> okay, how about this one? I know this son of a bitch has been dead since 64. Finally. But he's dead. Good. Grabbing cover! Piece of shit! Past you, we boy. got a problem. Got him. Over here. Fuck off. Gallery. Bullet 
They are audacious, aren't you? Filthy fucking mongrel. You made quite the mess of our operation. Believe me, there was good. You really think you know how all this is gonna play out, don't you? <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> Go ahead. <coughs> Kill me. I'll be replaced tomorrow. <laughs> no one will even notice. You're wrong. Everyone will notice. <laughs> War on the streets of our fair city as a gunman stormed the Royal Hotel, killing an untold number of men. There was a loud crash, like a bomb going off. I looked up and there was a man falling from the top of the building. Then all these men showed up and every one of them had a gun. They ran into the Royal and that's when the shooting started. <laughs> I still don't know how the hell Lincoln got out of that hotel. Just back me up. Let's go. This
on that goddamn elevator. Get up and see if he's still in there. How you doing, man? Shit, is that a gun? Crew shoot us downtown. Nothing. On our way. Got me, Chad. Are, lad. Looking forward to seeing where this shake goes. This is our first step toward breaking Marcano and taking over the city. I hear what y'all got to say, but I decide who gets the turf, and in the end, my decision is final. Your decision? 
Listen here. You put my men on the front line and locking down the action, I consider your decision fucking made. Ain't nothing to discuss. From where I'm sitting, it looks like you already got a plan for this part of the city. I think what my two friends here are trying to say is calling in help to lock down rackets sets a certain level of expectation. You might want to keep that in mind next time, kid. We got a lot of fragile egos here. Calling this one for Scaletta. You got a funny goddamn definition of loyalty. Maybe I'll keep that in mind next time you come calling, asking for help. About fucking time. Always knew you had a good head on your shoulders. If I stay here any longer, my head's gonna fucking explode. We're done for now. You'll hear from me if I need you. Police are intensifying their search for the colored male believed to be responsible for the massacre at the Royal Hotel. The suspect is described as six feet, three inches, and is believed They're to be saying armed. you threw Tony off the roof of the Royal? Actually, it was through his penthouse window. You always had a flair for the dramatic. Tony's ledger. Last couple pages are pretty interesting. Any idea what US 5CJ means? Wait a minute. Holy shit. Why is Lou willing to comp 10 grand a month at a brothel and the same at a drug den? Based on what Greco told me in Scaletta, Marcano's laying out a bunch of money to get gambling legalized. And if that's what you're after, who better to have in your pocket? Than a judge on the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, US 5CJ. Exactly. There have to be over 20 judges on that bench. Could be any one of them. The kind of man we're talking about isn't used to people getting into his business. I start visiting the places listed in that ledger, he'll panic and go to Lou for help. And that's when we'll find out who he is. Keep that wiretap running. Never turn it off. How about sending some new wheels to Delray Hollow? On a lot. Just getting her warmed up. Any harder, I'm gonna fuck you.
y'all doing out there? <laughs> Well, if it isn't Carly, my favorite assume you're still publishing that rag of yours. If it bleeds, it leads. And with you out there doing what you're doing, Christ, can't print copies fast enough. You have something for me? Whores. You want high-end whores in the French ward? You go to Handsome Harry Rubber Show, Lou Marcano's hand-picked man. Probably a safe bet that Lou funnels all his VIPs Harry's way. You like to fuck? Harry's the man you want to see. He's got it all covered. Hookers on the corner, porno shoots, and if you got the money, he'll let you live out your sickest fantasies. Usually a good idea to cut off the big money first. Hurt an asshole like Harry right out of the gate. <laughs> I can see the headlines now. New Bordeaux's Blue Bloods cotton sex scandal. Or maybe the city's dark, perverted heart. I'll see what kind of information I can get out of Harry's people about the operation and the high rollers. The fellas running horse for handsome Harry will know what he's up to. Hello there. Mm -hmm. Bordeaux? It's your Uncle Lou. What are you doing this weekend? Bring the family down to the French Wharf for good eats and good times. Come on down to Coalies for the family fun deal. With any two adult plates, all kids' plates are free. At Grown Ups, Friday and Saturday night, take your seats over to Big Mouse for half off your first drink order. Only in the French Ward.
Watch where you go. Some supplies over to the French ward. Going at you. Hang tight. Oh shit! Huh? You spot anything you can use? Show me what you got. I'll be with that. See you later. to move around, baby. Maybe you could... You a bloody grin! Been the same quality lately.
use getting a color for tonight. I got that sick bitch. Look at her. Christ, don't go telling me you're falling in love with a whore. She's an actress, all right? <laughs> oh, yeah, actress, real sophisticated. Last week, I saw her play the part of a pig in a spit roast with a pet because on her jeans. Watch it. Oh, watch where you're going. Hairs on my neck are standing up. We can work this out, son. Are you doing, brother? 
So what? Just toss them extra, relax everything, and bite the pillow. about him. Hmm. That child is just crazy if you weren't simple. I suppose. First time I heard Hendrix play was at a tiny club in London. Sounds like handsome ago. sounds like handsome Harry's a little agitated. Apparently even his clientele can't get their jollies while being shot at. Is he back at the plow house? He prefers to call it on Bel Jardin after the flower shop it's attached to. But yeah, he's there. Probably wishing he had a titty he could cry into. <laughs> you a sick motherfucker, Carly, but thanks for the help. Impression I get is that handsome Harry might not be so handsome once you're done with him. 